Hey there, it's Max from Penji, and I'd like to welcome you to a short video about a concept we call pseudocode. So what is pseudocode? Well, it's an English-like way of representing how some coding or programming will work without actually being written as a programming language like Python or Java. Instead, it's a sort of translation that we use to convey meaning, and is never meant for an actual program. You probably recognize the code shown here. But what would it look like translated to pseudocode? Let's take a look. As you can see, the pseudocode is a kind of part-by-part -part translation of the original code body into a kind of English, where in the original code we have penji equals penguin, open close parentheses. In pseudocode, we'll just say instantiate penguin, or the essential meaning of what's happening in that line. In the next part, instead of writing out the loop in all its proper syntax, We'll just say begin and end loop, and in the middle, detail what's happening. The pseudocode is a kind of translated notes on the original program, so that we can see the meaning of what's happening in it. And the pseudocode translation works backwards too. Sometimes, knowing what the pseudocode is for an assignment can help you figure out the actual code you need to write. For example, in this upcoming task, you know you'll have to instantiate the penguin Pam, create a loop to get her to the water, and then get her around the water to the fish. This pseudocode isn't the actual code, but it'll help you figure out what you have to write. The same goes for this upcoming challenge. If we know what the pseudocode is, or the kind of meaning of the real code we'll need to write, then we know that we'll have to instantiate a penguin Pam, and we'll have to write a loop that'll grab every fish along the line, and eventually waddle in turn to be able to grab the last fish in the next row down. But now that you've seen some examples, continue on ahead and see for yourself how pseudocode can help you a lot with programming in Penji.